What's up, Children of the Sun? This is your metaphysical advisor, Montreal Bible. And today I want to talk to you about a simple spiritual practice that you can add to your life that has great health benefits and um, great spiritual benefits too. And it's called grounding. Um, grounding or earthing, you can Google it and find tons of information about it. But um, scientists have even said that, you know, it's shown to uh, improve your health. And that's because when you're grounding, it's basically the most simple way of doing it is to take your shoes off and walk barefoot on the earth, on the ground, in the grass, and just allow the earth's energy to flow through you. Okay? Um, and you can do it in a lot of different ways. So I don't know, I'll let you know those too. But um, studies have shown that it's, it improves your health because the, there's actual electrons that go through the ground, the electrons of the earth, and our bodies are one with the earth anyways. And so those electrons go into your body. So think of it like um, electricity. And like if you get electrocuted and like there's a wire uh, and it hits the water and you touch that water, you get electrocuted because you are coming in contact with that water. Or if there is a, um, a loose wire somewhere and it, it touches your car. Uh, as long as you're in the car, you don't get electrocuted. But once you set foot on ground, that current flows through you and into the ground. So you get electrocuted that way. Um, grounding is not going to electrocute you, of course, thank goodness, but... Um, <laughs> it's still that energy that's flowing through the earth you know so um the problem is our society we wear shoes and those shoes have rubber use rubber or at the bottom most of them have rubber on the bottom and that is used that it causes inst <laughs> installation insulation uh against that, that that flow of energy uh so most people are not grounded you know they are separated they walk all day separated from the earth okay and it, it makes them feel their body starts responding to that you know you start feeling disconnected or you may go through a depression or anxiety um or just have health issues period so one way to improve your health since a lot of people are on you know how to improve your health because we're in a very uh, sick time during this pandemic and people are afraid of getting sick. Well, one thing you can do other than eat right and, you know, and take care of your spirit, mind and body is to just do some grounding and take some time every day to reconnect with the earth, to allow that energy to flow through you. Now, I'm sure you're saying, OK, well, maybe I can't walk barefooted or I'm scared of walking barefooted because, you know, I might cut my foot or something. You don't have to walk. You can just stand for one and there's another way of to, doing it too um as long as you make some type of contact with nature you can sit down on the ground uh you can find a log to sit on uh, that i there's this log on, on my property um and it's a cut tree but it's still in the earth so there's still energy flowing through it and i sit on that log and sometimes think about life and the things i want to do so um that energy is still flowing through that log. Other ways you could just use your hands and make, have your hands have contact. So your hands, your feet, whatever. So if you're going and you see a tree, and you know back in the day they used to call hip, hippies those those tree hugging hippies. Okay, well there was a there's a there was a, a a logic to that. So when you touch a tree, trees have been here for hundreds of years, hundreds of years, and there's more to trees than what we realize. So. When you touch a tree, remember you're touching a, a living being that's been here for a while. So connect with its energy, you know, and allow its energy and ask the tree to uh, flow through, let your energy flow through me. And also release energy. If you need to release negative energy, you say, you know, you know how when people, sorry, I'm just rolling on tangents. You know how people, um, they dump on you or people feel sad and they dump on you or they come to you and or people want to feel better so they have sex and that you can literally feel when they're dumping their energy on you and it makes you feel <laughs> bad you're like oh my gosh i feel worse being around this person because this person has dumped all their negative energy on me well one way of doing 
of releasing that energy without transferring it over to other people is to get contact with that tree and say, please release all this energy, all this negative energy from me. I release all my negative energy and send it back to the earth to be transformed. Um, so <laughs> that's one way you can do it. You can uh, transform that energy, um, giving it back to the earth, allowing the mother spirit of the earth to revive you and recharge you. I remember when I used to live in, um, in California, uh, it's people are so lucky when you live by a beach because you naturally are grounding yourself. People run on the beach barefooted, they go in the ocean in their bare feet. Uh, so that is a natural grounding way of, of reconnecting with the earth because you know, you're barefoot, you're in the water too. Putting your feet in water is a way of grounding too. So natural water, you know, <laughs> not your bathtub. <laughs> but I mean, you know, you can do some kind of, um, I mean, even putting uh, salt water baths are, are ways of neutralizing your energy and that's a whole other topic you know but you I'm saying to do stuff in nature and get yourself out in nature get some air breathe in breathe out and touch the earth touch that tree get connection with it um, if you're barefooted yes it completes a circuit uh, if you're just sitting down on it it's still flowing into you because your clothes have less you know insulation than your shoes do but either way you want to have some type of natural connection your body with nature and actually touch it um maybe take a stroll and and and, and rub, rub your hands on the trees as you walk by either way have some connection with those those natural things and that circuit that energy those electrons will flow through you and it'll recharge your body okay and and take and help you release a lot of the negative toxins and energy that you may have pulled from something else and I say your feet because your feet do release a lot of toxins so it's easier for your feet to release toxins than your hands your hands are very receptive you can receive energy with your hands uh, but your feet in particular your feet release a lot of toxins um, so don't go all day wearing your shoes and socks you <laughs> know if you haven't connected with the earth just take some moment Connect, reconnect with the earth, take some breaths, and recharge your body. And so this is how you ground yourself, okay? So if you guys have any questions or if you need any, um, if you have any tips on your grounding or something that you've done differently with grounding, be sure to leave me a comment below. Um, I have a join button now, so if you guys want to join the Children of the Sun and become an official member and, and support the channel, be sure to click that, subscribe, and remember, make your reality happen, because if you don't do it, who will? Talk to you guys later.